Hello everyone, we will continue the topic debugging and in the previous video, we started with debugging desktops. We covered what is desktop 1, what is desktop 2, what is desktop 3. Now in this video, we will cover what is standard desktop and then I will come on to why desktop 1, desktop 2 and desktop 3 are called as user specific desktop. So what I will do, I will put a breakpoint. I will run this program. You can take any program. It is totally your wish. Suppose I am putting some sales document number and I will click on to execute button. Now system will enter into the debugging mode. Now you can see whenever we are entering into the debugging mode, by default system will always, always take you to the standard desktop. By default, it is always, always standard desktop whenever you are entering into the debugging mode. After that, we are going for desktop 3 because desktop 3 is most preferable desktop whenever we do the debugging. But by default, system will take you to the standard desktop. Now to see how standard desktop look like by default. Here we have the code. Here we have the variable values. Suppose if I click on to any variable, so you can see we can see the code here. We can see the variable values here. And you can see we are able to see the ABAP and screen stack here. So by default, standard desktop is showing you everything. It is showing you the code also. It is showing you the variables also. It is showing you the ABAP and screen stack also. If you remembered in the previous video, whenever you are going for desktop 2, we are able to see the code and we are able to see the ABAP and screen stack. If we go for desktop 3, we are able to see the code and variables. If we go for desktop 1, we are able to see the code and variables, but in horizontal manner by default. But in standard desktop, you can see everything together. Code is there, variables is there, and a map and screen stack is there. So this is combination of everything by default. Now the question from everyone's, yes, maximum participant asked this question. Whenever I am entering into debugging mode, Rather than standard, the control should be either of desktop 1, desktop 2 or desktop 3. Suppose one user is saying, whenever I am entering into debugging mode, I want desktop 3 as by default or I want desktop 1 as by default or I want desktop 2 as by default. Then how, how we can do this particular thing? Suppose what you can do? Suppose I want to set desktop one as by default. So I will click here. Once this tab is selected, you have a option here, save layout and shortcut is control plus shift plus F3. Click. It will ask you, do you want to save this current layout? Yes, I want to save. So now, this is the layout which is saved for my particular user ID. Whenever I will enter into the debugging mode, it will go for desktop one. And this is the, these changes are only for my user ID. It will not affect other users. Suppose do not go for a perception that you set the desktop one as by default. So all other users will also go to desktop one whenever they will enter into debugging mode. For them, by default, the standard desktop will be there. This is one of the reason why desktop one, desktop two and desktop three are called as user specific desktop because you can set based upon the user preference. Suppose if I will execute and show you, Suppose I am again entering into debugging mode. Whenever I will enter into debugging mode, system will take me to desktop one. If I will execute, if now whenever I will enter into the debugging mode, you can see desktop one. 
Now I am not on to standard desktop. After that, it's, it's totally your wish which desktop you want to go. But now the desktop one is by default. Now second, why, why these desktop are called as user specific desktop? Many times people, but they are asking, I do not want the name desktop one. I do not want the name desktop two. I do not want the name desktop three. Can I put my own name to these desktop? Yes, you can put. That's why they are called as user specific desktop. You can give any name to these desktops also. These three desktops. Suppose if I will go to debugger, we have a debugger session. And have you seen designation of the user desktop? Word itself is saying user desktop. If I will click here, by default, desktop one, desktop one, desktop two, desktop two, desktop three, desktop three. Suppose I want to change. Suppose desktop one, I will give the name, suppose horizontal. Suppose desktop two, suppose I will give the name, suppose stack. Suppose desktop three, I will give the name, suppose prefer. I will go for OK. You can see all these three names are rechanged. All these three names, three desktop are renamed. Okay. Now you need to save also. Suppose preferred will be the default. So I will select this because whatever you want to save, you want to save this layout. So you need to select that first. After that, you can save the layout. So whenever you will save, these three names will be there. And yes, whenever you will save, this will be by default whenever you will enter into the debugging mode. Suppose I am going for save. I will go for yes. Now it is saved. Now whenever I will just execute, I will go to back button. I will go for execute. Now you will be able to see the desktop names will be renamed. You can see horizontal, stack, preferred, and this is the preferred. But these changes are for my user ID. Other users will be able to see desktop 1, desktop 2, and desktop 3 only. That's why we are always saying, or if someone asks in the interview, which desktop are user specific desktop? So the answer is desktop one, desktop two, desktop three. If someone is asking you why, because you can customize based upon your preferences. You can rename them. You can set as a default. Yes. So it is totally, totally your wish. So these three desktops are called as your user specific desktop. Now, one important thing, many times what happened, suppose I'm clicking on to prefer and I want to save this particular layout. Sometimes I will get an error or sometimes user get the error that system is unable to save that layout. It's not, you know, that's not a problem at all because many times people ask the question, I'm setting this desktop three as a default desktop. I'm clicking on to save layout button, but I'm getting an error. Do not confuse with that error. What you have to do in that case, go for any other desktop, then come to again that particular desktop and click on to save button. It will work because it's not our fault. I'm not also sure yes, why sometimes that error is coming. I also face that error few times. Yes. So in that case, what is the solution for the same? Nothing. Just go for any other desktop, come on to that desktop and click on to the save button. It will work. So that's not a concern at all. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we covered firstly, what is standard desktop? How standard desktop look like? In standard desktop, by default, you are able to see everything. Your code also, your ABAP and screen stack also, your variable values also. After that, yes, many times people ask whenever I'm entering into the debugging mode, by default system is taking me to standard desktop. Can I by default set it to desktop 3, desktop 2, desktop 1? Generally, people prefer desktop 3. Yes, you can do. 
you can simply click that text off and go for layout and save. Now, after that, people are asking, can I rename this desktop? Yes, you can rename. You can give your own name. It's totally your wish. How you can do? Debugger, debugger session, designation of the user desktop. You can give your own name. It is totally your wish. And then I covered an important point. Many times what happens? Suppose if you are clicking a particular desktop and while saving, if you are getting some error that layout is not getting saved, do not confuse at that point of time. Just do one thing, go to another desktop, come to that desktop again, which you want to set at the, as default and click on to the save button. And important points, yes, many times people will go for these kinds of things, but these names are for my user ID only. It will not affect anybody. So I will just rename again. Suppose I will go here and I will make it desktop one desktop 2. Anyways, it will not impact anywhere. I'll go for desktop 3. Now, I'll just simply, simply go for save. So, desktop 3 will be by default. I'll just save this. I will go for yes. Done. So, this is all about this desktop 1, desktop 2, desktop 3 and standard layout. So, that's it in this video. Thank you.